Hallelujah, beloved in Christ. What a God that we serve. Wonderful, good, mercy, kind. We give him all his glory. He is a good father. So beloved, let us pray and thank him. Our father, that today we are still here. It is your goodness. It is your compassion. It is your mercy that your children, we are still alive. Who can do this for us? Oh, you are a good father. Merciful, kind, compassionate. May your name be praised this morning because what you have done, we have to thank you around the whole world for your children that you have given us a life and we are still breathing. You alone is ready to do this. Oh, King of Kings, Lord of Lord, King of the host, the lamb who was slain, take all your glory, take all your honor for what you have done. It is good and mercy and dear for our life. We thank you and thank you. That's all we can say, Father, we thank you because there is nothing we can do. We don't have anything but just to appreciate you. You are a good father. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved in Christ, he has given us a word this morning. He is a good God. Whatever he say, he does it for us. Spirit of the living God, this is another day that your word is coming forth. And we appreciate you for giving us a word. And this word will sanctify us. Hallelujah. Beloved, the title of the message is The Righteous of God. Only him is so righteous. So the more we know him, it is his nature, the righteous of God. It is his mercy, the righteous of God. It is his salvation, the righteous of God. So without wasting time, let's go to his word. And our first reading is taken from Matthew, the book of Matthew, the gospel. Matthew 6 and the verses 33. Let us hear his word. Hallelujah. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. God is telling us that we seek, we have to seek his kingdom, the kingdom of goodness, the kingdom of mercy, the kingdom of love. In all things, we have to seek him. He has to be the center of our lives. It is him alone that has the righteousness. It is him alone that's his kingdom is everlasting to everlasting. So the more we seek him, the more we know him, fellowship with the Holy Spirit, oh, we will know him. Because the Holy Spirit moves our beings. Whatever we do, it is the Holy Spirit. It is not our own. That's why the Holy Spirit is with us. So we have to seek him in a daily basis. Pray to him. Talk to him, worship him. The spirit of God will lead us. And the more we know him, it is an intimacy that we know him and he become a fellowship and he become a lifestyle seeking God all the time. Sit upon him and seek him, spend time with him. And the more we fellowship, the more we'll be united with our God. What a God that we serve. We continue with the scriptures. And the second scripture is taken from Proverbs 10. And beloved, let us hear the word of God. Proverbs 10, 
24. God is so good. God is so wonderful. Proverbs 10 and the verses 24, let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. The fear of the wicked will come upon him and desire of the righteous will be granted. Those who don't fear him, they are wicked, their deeds will be upon them. But those who are righteous before God, he will grant them whatever they seek from him. He will do it because they have fellowship with the spirit of God. So beloved, we have to know him in daily basis. And the more we know him, he will grant our request because the spirit of God, we have intimacy. We have a fellowship. He knows us. So the more we know him, we become closer. And Holy Spirit is our friend. So beloved, let us know this. We continue with the same Proverbs and the verses 20, 11, 28. Let us hear his word. Oh, what a mighty God. Proverbs 28, Proverbs eleven twenty-eight. 28, it says, he who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flush like a field. The righteous will flush. And who will do this? It is God, the spirit in us, that the more we seek him, we will grow in the spirit realm. But the riches, those who doesn't know him, they depend upon what? Their money. They have neglected their God. And beloved, that money that they are acquiring, it's just a temporary. It won't take them to anywhere. They will fall because they have gotten the God who created them. So this morning, he is telling us the righteous will flush. The righteous will grow. The righteous will be with the Lord. So beloved, he is telling us this morning. We continue in Psalms 58. Beloved, let us hear the word of God. Our God is so good. The more we know him, the more we fellowship. The more we know him, it becomes a lifestyle that every time that you are granted or every time you wake up, you go before him and talk to your father because he has given you what? A life. So beloved, let us know this. We continue with Psalm 58 and the verse is 11. Let us hear the word of God. So that men will say, surely there is reward for righteous. Surely he is God who judge in the earth. Beloved, the more we know him, he will reward us. The more we are closer to him. That's why he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all things shall be added. He knows, he knows us. He knows that we are fragile. He knows that we are weak. That's why he said we have to seek him. The righteous of God and the more we know him, all things, he will do it for us. He is a good God. So beloved, let us know him and do what he is telling us. The righteous is only God. The righteous is only our savior, our Lord, our king, our master. It is only our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, we shouldn't be righteous of ourselves. We cannot make it because we don't know the way, because he knows us. So the more we know him, we will be like him in his character. So beloved, let us know this. We continue in Isaiah 
Isaiah 5. Let us hear his word. Uh, Isaiah 5, and the verse is 21. What a mighty God. Let's hear what the book of Isaiah 5, 21 is saying. Those who are righteous of themselves. So Isaiah is telling us, 5.21, let us hear the word. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Beloved, how can you say you are righteous? There is no way. You are bound with sin and God has sin. So how can you say you are righteous? It is an abomination unto God. Beloved, let us be aware. We continue again. The Galatians, the book of Galatians, and it's Galatians 5, Galatians 6, 3. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. What a king. We read Galatians 6, and the verse is 3. For if anyone thinks himself to be something when he is nothing. He deceived himself. If you think you are something, me, 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 beloved, you are deceiving yourself. Why is your God the one who created you? You forgot that you were created by God Almighty. Only his compassion has kept you and I and his mercy, his goodness. So you can say you are righteous. Never. He alone is righteous. That's why his mercy endure us in our daily basis. That is the spirit of God in us. So beloved, let us know this. We continue with our last scripture, which is Isaiah 64. And the verse is six. Let us hear the word of God. But we all, like unclean sin, and our righteousness are like a filthy rag. We all fade as a leaf, and our iniquity, like the wind, have taken us away. Even if we say we are righteous, he said it is like a filthy rag. Beloved, this is very serious. Let us serve God in spirit and in truth so that the mercy of God will have be upon us. And the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our comforter, our guide, and our friend will help us. So this morning, he has given us the word. You can never say you are righteous before God. Even your righteousness is like a filthy rat. Beloved, let us know this. The word has come forth. It is time to assess yourself so that the spirit of God will lead us. We cannot make it. It is only him alone that will help us. May the spirit of God have mercy upon our soul. May the spirit of God guide us because we don't know the way. He is the truth, so that when his word comes, we have to learn and change our ways. We give God the glory for giving us a message that he alone is righteous. And the spirit of God help us to make it so that we can make it to the end. We give God all the glory and honor for giving us a message like this, because this is what we, we need for this end time. There is nothing, only God, we need his word. And also we need his prayer to change our way. We give you all the glory. May your name be adored. May your name be praised for giving us a message. Jesus, you are our master. Jesus, you are our savior. We thank you. Spirit of the living God, the word has come forth. And I ask in your mighty name, that God Almighty, Spirit of the living God, you will bless your end time prophet. 
the one that you have ordained to draw souls, to win souls for the kingdom of God. May you bless him, prosper him, him and the wife and the children, and also his viewers. May you do their hard desire for them, for availing themselves to listen to the end time prophet. Father, may you prosper them. In Jesus Christ, these are their requests. Father, may you do it for them. And we thank you for your word. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, your word has come forth. Amen.